Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. This truck is not working for me. We got to get it running today. Today, Zach wants to try harvesting the corn. If you remember, we got rained out and the fields are sloppy. They are completely moist. I don't know if we can run today. I don't want to muddy up my fields, so I'm not going to go running them. But Zach really wants me to help him out. If you don't know, if you remember his harvester burned to the ground, he's kind of behind. Uh, we only have a few fields, small fields, and we should be at least three quarters done right now. And um, I'm having a hard time with my truck here getting it running. The actual tractor of this 18 wheeler is, uh, let's say, what, one tenth the price of the trailer? around there but hey it works and we have a beautiful looking trailer behind it maybe uh, let me go f try to find the ether here jump up here spray it in oh yeah there we go oh man fires right up yeah cold start this morning all right let's get headed over there to zach's here Try not to uh, hit anything, especially my Ford truck. Oh man, I got plenty of room. What am I doing? Running over the hearts, the bumps, and everything. Okay, we are good to go. Let's actually get something done around here. Okay. Oh my goodness, all my crops are still in the field. It's okay. It's okay. It'll all work out in the end. You just have to stay positive. Yeah, right. Because of the slop, you know, Zach has a high flotation, like 900s or 800s uh, tires on his harvester. And I got a new Holland that doesn't have that. Mine or, yeah, that harvester is really light compared to Zach's but it it sinks let's just say that it really sinks so I think today is gonna be a high let's uh, pull Steve-o out type day that's what I'm guessing anyways turn this truck around out here all right there we go got a uh, huge operation going on here we got stuff all over the place right now so the reason why I brought my truck over we're actually not hauling to the bins we're gonna haul directly to the ethanol plant Zach has a uh, contract and I think uh, Zach has one of Zach's drivers is gonna end up driving that shoot it's raining again oh my goodness it just never stops raining around this place. Oh. Who got Bigfoot d muddy? Who who did it? Who did it? Shh. Don't tell Zach. Don't tell Zach. Oh, my goodness. It needs to stop raining so we can actually get into the field. What the heck is coming down the road? Wait a second. I see red, white, and blue. Look at that beautiful thing. Zach did not tell me he got a harvester. Holy cow, Zach has another demo. Oh, I'm getting wet. Look at this thing. I know Zach had a demo last year and he actually has another demo. This looks like an X1000. It's not the biggest one. This actually has a Capello folding head on it. And you can see this has been demoing a ton. Look at that head. It needs some a new paint job, probably. Oh my goodness. I, I think the flag just tops this harvester right off. Man. Hopefully. I wonder. So I guess uh, I get to drive this? Or do I get to drive uh, Zach's 7? I, 
I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to beg and plead, Zach. Maybe we'll play the hard ball. We'll say uh, we're going to just uh, stop our operation and try harvesting our corn. It might, it might seal the deal. I don't know. Good. Night. This is... It even smells new in the cab still. Now it just needs to stop raining. I'm so excited. It won't stop raining. All right. So we actually drawed straws to see which truck we would bring out there just to see if the fields how muddy they are it's supposed to stop raining and i think a few hours if the sun comes out we're going to start uh, actually harvesting just like every farmer in minnesota he has a drain a grain dryer and uh, it's late in the year we just have to go we're going to see if we can actually not get bogged down too bad in the field we all drawed straws and uh, Jim's truck is up. We're going to take that out in the field. I would love to take Bigfoot out again, but uh, it's behind the harvester. Uh, it's just we'd have to get the harvester out in the rain. No, nah, it's just not worth it. All right, let's see. Maybe we should have probably took his uh, razor out over there. Okay. Going to drive Jim's truck. So, uh... I didn't even tell Jim, but uh, yeah, we're going to take his truck out and try it in here in the bud. Oh, 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 yep, you can see all that mud flying behind this thing. Oh, yeah, it's a muddy mess out here. His truck actually does pretty good in the mud. Look, we're almost up to speed here. Yep, we got a ton of mud on top of the cab. All right. That mission is done. Now, uh, it's good payback for Jim. And it's raining, so we'll just keep his truck out in the rain. It'll wash it all off. He won't have a problem with it, I'm sure. It's a good, it's like a uh, natural wash machine out here. Just park it over here. It'll be all gone in like uh, 15 minutes or so. Yep. Well. I don't know about the mud on top of the cab, though. That might be there to stay. All right. I jumped in this harvester before Zach could say anything. We're going to see if it goes out here before we get the whole crew out. We got the folding head. We got the harvest. We got the brand new demo harvester. Oh, my goodness. Man. We're rolling in style now. This is actually going pretty good. We got a ton of slip out there. Probably can't tell, but we definitely got this harvester nice and muddy pretty quick. We're going to get this load, run it over there to the ethanol plant possibly, just to see how... Uh, how wet it actually is so the good thing is is that the ethanol plant could uh, right away process it so you take a little bit of dockage because of wet stuff but it's not as much as an elevator yeah we're getting a ton of slippage right here this you think this harvester even with a uh, 16th roll head that could run quicker but no yeah. Apparently, because uh, all the wheel slippage and everything, it's really bogging it down. And I'm not trying to push it too hard here. Alright, so uh, we are completely uh, full here. Zach is out there running right now. Look at him go. He's actually on the top of the hills. It isn't that muddy, but on uh, lower parts, oh my goodness, it is wet. The good thing is... These two harvesters are kind of computer controlled, so a lot of the settings adjust on the fly, which is good for, uh, which is really good when you're running from uh, dry crops to wet crops back and forth. Helped out a ton. We didn't spend a lot of time having to set these harvesters, dial them in to uh, harvest this uh, wet, sloppy corn here. Now we just need to get all of the men out here in the field so we can start full-fledged harvesting. Alright, so Zach looks like he's full, I'm full. We need to get all of our equipment 
back in the field here. I'm going to cut across his uh, little uh, backyard, I guess this is. Ooh, hopefully I don't scare Becky running through these bushes like that. Yeah, she looks like the type of person that probably carries a gun around with her. Fire up my big tractor. Man, I love this thing. It's going to be hard to give this tractor back. I think it might stay around on the farm. Loving that tractor right now. All right. Zach's new hired hand, new driver there, is taking off. Let's see. Get this truck over there. Holy cow, is he going fast. Slow down, buddy. Oh, man. Wow. He definitely don't need to rush that much. That's when people get hurt. All right, whoa, 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 don't go in that field, don't, what, wait, wait, oh my goodness, uh oh, this ain't good, this ain't good, all right, so, yeah, this ain't working, oh my goodness, oh, we are stuck now, uh, oh no, I'm gonna try to get the Steiger here off and then hopefully be able to pull this out. Fire this thing up. This thing is a muddy mess. Oh no. This is starting to be just one of them days. I can't believe his hired hand drove the truck in the cornfield. That is like a huge no-no. Especially when it's this muddy. I don't even... This Steiger is so heavy, I don't think I can even hardly get myself out of trouble, let alone a truck. Look at them joints in there turning and everything. I think this thing's got too much weight on the back and everything to really get be useful in this mud. Yeah, we are just barely creeping up there. Are we gonna... Oh man, I'm sliding into the truck. I better be careful there. Oh goodness, this is not working out for us. Oh no, it's just not working out for us. Oh, that truck, I think I'm gonna have to get Zach's new tractor out, his is 9R, see if we can hopefully be able to uh, get that truck out of the mud so we can start unloading our harvesters finally. You think the Bigfoot has it in it? This thing is powerful, but I don't want to break it. I don't know if it has enough frame weight and all that stuff to pull out that big of a tractor, or I mean a truck. So we gotta unhook the Mendeco so we can hopefully get Stupido out of the mud there. I don't know why you would get that truck, get that truck stuck in the mud. There we go. It's unhooked. Wow, this tractor's pristine inside, ready to get muddy. Hopefully these big floaters on here can uh, handle the mud. Why would somebody drive my truck out? Oh. Oh my goodness. We are spinning now. Oh, we're not getting anywhere with this thing. Come on. Come on. We're not even hooked up yet, buddy. Spin. Spin. Yeah, this... My other... My, uh, Steiger run, does better than this. Holy cow. Come on. Come on. We could do it. Just, uh... Fishtail your stuff... Yourself over there. There we go. Alright. Last ditch at for... Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Save the day. The Ford is here to save the day. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm not used to this. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Four-way steer here. Whoo, whoo, whoo. We're okay. We're okay. Good thing we are extra wide here. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in the slop. Slop, oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. 
no problem here. No problem here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we could probably just hook that grain cart right up to this thing. Alright, maybe we can finally get these harvesters out of here. Don't forget, like the video. Thank y'all. I will see you next time.